Greetings, I'm the, your humble game master. Look at these pieces of plastic. There's a big old six cider, the infamous 20 cider there, and 10 sided die as well. Role playing games, with some exceptions, are synonymous with their dice. And there are card based games, there are uh, diceless systems, but I think the largest proportion of role playing games that exist in my anecdotal experience, are dice-based. Recently, John Wick of John Wick Presents, the author of Seventh Sea and Once Upon a Time Legend of the Five Rings, um, put up a, a comment on Facebook on his, on his page. Um, I am the author of my character, not the dice. Um, and it, it matches a sentiment that I've often shared. Um, I don't like the... A dice shaming meme. I'm not offended by it. Don't get me wrong, but it's a little pet peeve of mine. The dice shaming meme, where you have you have your friend here, often with the um, where are you? The one showing. Um, I killed my wizard. Um, I missed the orc when it was going to do something orcish. That sort of thing. And my opinions of it, and I'll probably use it for the uh, thumb thumbnail for this video is I'm an arbitrary piece of plastic. I don't care if you succeed or fail. Dice are a tool. They are impartial and they don't care if you succeed or fail. We all know this, of course. We have our little superstitions about dice and games. We all know they're arbitrary though. Um, some systems are very swingy. You have your 5% for any number on a d20. Um, others are bell curves, particularly ones that use three of these um, to roll under something or over something. Um, some you form dice pools of these. Um, others are percentile. So you get two of these bad boys, uh, one for tens, one for units, and you roll under a number. And you could talk about statistical probability and, and, and bell curves and, and all that sort of thing, but they are ultimately arbitrary. Um, although there might be more chance of a certain result happening you can fail. Likewise, you could succeed. So, why am I telling you what you you already know about these things? Because there's still this idea that dice control our fate in games. For some gamers, the dice are the be-all and end-all. As a GM, the dice for where they may. I roll them out in the open all the time, and if I roll an eight, I rolled an 8. If that kills your character, so be it. To other people, dice are rolled behind a screen or a little bit in secret. And I use them for in, to interpret what happens. You know, if I'm at a creative standstill at uh, loggerheads with, with what could happen and what will happen, I'll roll a die and allow that to sort of grease the wheels, as it were, and let me figure out what happens there. And anything in between. Some people love rolling the dice for everything. And they'll roll the dice, as a GM, I have players that do this, and they'll go, can I can I understand the history behind what I see? Yeah, okay. And I'm just about to tell them what they know because they're historian. I'm going to roll the die. I got I got a 20. I got a natural 20. Tell me what I know. Um, I actually got a natural 20. That's a pretty good roll. Um, or, you know, I, I got a 6. Oh, well, I don't know anything about this wall. And well, do I still tell them what I, I was going to anyway? or their enthusiasm to roll the dice to have something happen uh, has now negated that or means I've got to tell them more if they roll something higher. Dice are a funny thing in games and they mean different things to different people. To some, it's not a game without the dice. You have to roll the dice. What's the point of having a character with abilities if you don't roll dice? To other people, they are there to guide us, to help us. Um, but Getting back to my original uh, statement, they don't define our characters. Now, they don't define our characters because how we role play those successes and failures, that belongs to us. The dice can do many things, and the GM's interpretation, likewise, but as players, how we treat the die roll belongs to to us. So when you swing and you miss the orc, rather than sulking and blaming the die, what does that mean? How did you miss? 
it, it could be nothing. I mean, in a combat round, so you miss once. The next round you'll hit again. What if you miss three times in a row? Well, maybe that orc is just a bit more skilled than you. Maybe you didn't anticipate the orc. The, the, the dice are arbitrary. And if that's going to ruin your fun of a game, that's, that's just such a shame. You can try to do things that mitigate that, that you can build into your character. Uh, there are there are times when dice are not necessary as a GM, um, and so this discussion is kind of twofold in a way: dice reactions as players and dice reactions as GMs. As a GM, do not be constrained with the dice. Do not roll dice or ask for them to be rolled unless it's absolutely necessary. If you can see clearly what the most likely outcome will be. Sometimes you don't even need to roll a dice. Modern games often have things like the take 10 or 20 mechanic or the take the average mechanic from Ubiquity. Um, in World of Darkness systems, um, if your attribute pool is more than twice the or equal to the difficulty number, which is usually six, um, you can sometimes mitigate having to roll dice. But yeah, if it's clear, if your game system has characters rated between one and five in strength, and your strength five character wants to kick a door in, and the door's not restrained in any way, it's just locked with a flimsy lock. Why roll a die for it? You don't have to depend on these pieces of plastic as a GM to tell you what happens all the time. Sometimes you can just go with it, with what makes sense. In fact, most of the time you should go with what makes sense, because sometimes the dice roll can help you get out of a, a bit of a, a bind when you're trying to figure out what's happening and it can inspire you but other times if there is a logical outcome for the activity just let it happen um, what would you lose if you didn't is the question now the interesting one about making dice the author of your character um, and this term could be interpreted in different ways um, so i'm being a little bit a little bit selective with how i read into this in some game systems dice are the author of your character you roll them to determine your attributes um which in turn tell you what you can and cannot excel in in some games like warhammer fantasy role-playing they tell you what profession you are in some games they're your life path so dice can in a rather literal sense author your character but even then they're not really all they're doing is laying the groundwork. They're giving you components, tools, uh, modular components that you can then creatively interpret. So the dice don't dictate your limitations and what you are. You do. The dice don't tell you what your strength of four means. You know what that means, though. You give it a, a reason. You give it a justification. If the dice give you a really good intelligence score, you have to decide what that means. Uh, and the dice can't tell you that. They can only give you the number. If you're rolling for a profession or a career in that sort of game, they, they'll give you the career you are. If you're a rat catcher from the streets of Marienberg, well, you still get to decide everything about that character, how they got to where they are. And it can help inspire creativity. But they don't author that for you. You don't just roll the dice and go, well, I'm strength seven. Well, that's my character. You've got to do the work still. And when you fail at doing the strength test later on in the game because your strength is seven, you can't go, oh, well, the dice let me down because it's just a piece of plastic. It doesn't care. You didn't know your limits or you were forced into a situation where you had to somehow strive even though you were too weak to do it. And that makes a story. That makes a character. But the dice didn't author that. You did. All the dice did was give you the... The means. So, are dice the author of your character? Are these things sacred and precious? Are every number they roll preordained or the random elements of chaos that we need in games? Uh, do dice mean everything or do dice mean very little to you? I'd love to hear from you and until next time, have a great game.